Hi YouTube, it is me, Arielle, and I am back with another video. This week we are going to be talking about the wondrous, the majestic oak. Let me see if I can pull that down for you. This is an oak tree, generously loaned to me by my neighbors, because it is hanging over my fence. And today we are going to be making a little foot soak with these oak leaves. Very renewable resource, as long as you don't harvest too many of them. And my feet are super tired from being on my feet all the time. Wow, how many times can I say feet? Don't get the wrong idea about this video. Ew. We're gonna be making a foot soak, which is one of the more simple forms of herbal medicine and a really great way to absorb lots of beneficial herbal compounds without it having to go through your digestive system where you might not necessarily need it. And so the purpose of this foot soak we are going to make is to rejuvenate my feet and my tired calves and muscles and also enough oak leaves have chemicals in them that can treat things like cellulite, spider veins, and other like beauty issues that we seem to care about for some reason. Oak leaves have many medicinal properties that make them a really good candidate to use topically and in foot baths. Oak leaves have a compound called phenolic acid and it also has compounds called flavonoids, which you might know as antioxidants. These work together to reduce your blood pressure, strengthen your entire cardiovascular system and your blood vessels, and additionally reduce your blood lipids, which can prevent clogged arteries, essentially. However, oak leaves are very high in tannins, a chemical compound that I talk about a lot on this show because so many plants have high levels of tannins, is what gives wine that kind of puckery, tight taste and they are great in small amounts. It tightens the skin and that can be very helpful for your body, but oak leaves have way too many of them. As such, I wouldn't recommend eating oak leaves or taking them as a tea and it wouldn't taste good anyway. When we turn these oak leaves into a foot soak, we bypass the entire digestive system and so all those tannins and phenols and flavonoids and all the other wonderful phytochemicals of the oak leaves that go directly into my feet and legs where they are needed. These flavonoids and tannins have a wonderful effect on the blood vessels in your legs, helping tone them and helping blood flow back up through the veins into the heart. And some of us get kind of swollen feet or legs throughout the day, and this will help treat that. It will also help treat spider veins that may develop as we age and any sort of varicose veins. The high tannin content of oak leaves can also treat cellulite. Of course, we should love ourselves and love our bodies, but many of us do not, and that's also okay. And so soaking our legs in something like oak tea will help with that over time if done very regularly. The results are in. The oak tea is kind of a light yellowish green. Of course, I put it in way too small a bowl because I lost my large bowl, but after I put my feet in it and I soaked them for maybe a half an hour, I did feel like 50% like reduction in my pain, so I'm pretty satisfied with that, and I also slept unusually well that night. A little bit about the oak tree. The leaves are very characteristically lobed. Lobed means that they have these little like round or spiky bits at the end. Boring. My favorite part about the oak is the acorns. The acorn is the most easy part of the oak tree to identify, and we have many, many, many species of oak trees in the northern hemisphere. Acorns are little tree seeds with the characteristic little brown cap on them. This is a red oak, and you can tell it's a red oak because instead of having smooth lobes, you'll see that every lobe of the oak leaf has little prickles, little spiky bits at the end. Comparing it to other oak species, white oaks will have smooth, rounded lobes, and live oaks, like you might find in places like Texas, will have no lobes at all, just smooth, simple leaves. There are at least 600 species of Quercus, which is Latin for oak, and they are all home to so much wildlife. Like, out of all the trees, the oak is one of the biggest homes for animals, like squirrels and birds and all manner of bugs and lots of mammals. Any animal you can think of probably wants to burrow in an oak tree.
The oak tree is a very magical tree in Celtic culture and also a lot of Germanic and Nordic cultures too. Probably all over the world where the oak tree grows because it's such a large and powerful long-lived tree. It has a lot of magical associations with it. The oak tree is called Dur in the Old Celtic language. In modern times, it's called Dara in Irish. And this root word, Dwir, Dara, Dru, is where we get the words Druid and Dryad and even Dor. All of these are related to the oak tree. In Celtic cultures, the oak tree is related to the god Lu and also the god Tyrannus, who in the Norse culture's version is Thor, probably because of its propensity to be hit by lightning. The oak tree is, if not the most sacred tree in Celtic culture is very much up there. It also has a lot of associations with the fairies. It is said that you should stay away from an oak tree at the full moon because you could get sucked into the fairy world, which sounds fun, but it is not fun and time passes very differently there. Teutonic and Celtic peoples did many sacred rituals in oak groves throughout Western Europe. And to this day, those trees are revered. The oak represents knowledge, wisdom, and strength and power. And so if you feel lacking in any of those traits, I recommend that you find a beautiful old or young oak tree and sit under it and try to learn from it. Learn from the energy that it gives off, the sound of the wind through the leaves, and just whatever you're feeling and seeing when you're sitting under that oak tree. Well, thank you guys again for staying to the end of a yet another video. I will be back next week probably with another video, probably a longer one next time because this one wasn't very long, but be sure to follow me on social media. My links are down below in the bio. I'm trying to get more organized. And until then, I love you lots. Y'all take care of yourselves and I'll see you later. Bye!